I'm Joe Urban, CEO of Petro Medical. And at Petro, our mission is to protect the kidney. I left robotics and came to uh, Petro because I believed in the, the technology that was created by the engineers here. I understood how gigantic of a market need this is and how many patients are vulnerable in the hospitals today because of the limitations of the current technology. It's just crazy to me that no one knows about AKI. Like, it, there's 300,000 deaths a year. 300,000. Breast cancer, everyone knows about it. There's a month dedicated to it, but that's like 40 or 50,000 a year. The burden of acute kidney injury today is astounding. One in five patients admitted to the hospital will get acute kidney injury, and it prolongs their stay on average by 2.8 days. The cost to the U.S. healthcare system is just over $11 billion. When the kidney is unhappy, when there's evidence of injury, its functionality is falling off. There's, um, uh, there may be reduced filtration and, as a consequence, reduced urine output. I think of the kidney like the canary in the coal mine. The kidney really tells you what's going on with everything else. So you have a surgical patient, they develop AKI, it's a sign that something else is wrong. Six of the seven vital signs are fully automated. One remains manual, tedious, and highly variable, and that's the function of the kidney, also known as urine output. And at Petro, we've automated this final vital sign, and what it's enabled us to do is to see minute-to-minute -minute urine output resolution of what the kidney's producing, not necessarily what's in the urine drainage bag. When I learned about um, Accurant, I was just so excited because of the importance of knowing precision urine output. Uh, as, a, as an intensivist anesthesiologist, I spent hours at the bedside looking at the impact of um, the, the therapies that we have going on, trying to understand what the impact of a fluid bolus was or adding inotropes and to see the end organ effect on the kidneys and improved urine output. So to have a device that finally gives accurate, continuous urine output was very exciting to me. So Smart Cath is our catheter without a catheter on it. So a drainage bag and cassette, but you can connect any regular catheter and make it smart. The standard of care relies on products that don't fully empty the bladder. There's airlocks that prevent the bladder from fully emptying and that lowers the resolution. We provide airlock clearance in our system and that clears the bladder and gives high resolution continuous urine output data. With all other technologies, whether it's gravity or actual suction, you have that risk of hemorrhagic pseudopolyps. What we do is we have a bypass line that has a low level of airflow that continues just moving the air through and never creating a blockage of an air column. The future of medicine is in predicting and preventing catastrophic diseases like acute kidney injury. Our new platform will enable clinicians to predict and prevent catastrophic diseases like acute kidney injury. Predictive algorithms, of course, help to bridge the gap and identify clinical disease states earlier than humans could possibly do. So it is a, it's a patient safety device. It helps you recognize situations that you may not otherwise be able to easily find until some significant period of time goes on. We all know that algorithms are only as good as the data that they have access to. The challenge becomes, how do you know what data is good and what data is bad? What you have is every piece of hardware with software in it has a history log and they're trying to look back and say, what can we learn from the data we've actually collected? But if you haven't planned that data, if you haven't picked very key points to track, as well as ensured that it's accurate data, then you're building your algorithms off of something that's not real. The advantage of these newer technologies is that you can recognize the fallen urine output earlier, and there can be an earlier conversation about what that fallen urine output might mean. So diseases like AKI are diseases where we really have no effective therapies, apart from supportive care like dialysis at this point. I think it's really going to take a village to improve the care of patients with acute kidney injury. We have funding from institutes like the National Institutes of Health. 
we have the ASN, we have nephrology stakeholders, but it's going to take innovative technology companies like Petrero to help us move the field forward effectively and efficiently. We are changing medicine. We are pushing forward uh, technology that will help doctors and nurses every day in the hospital. And we know that we can help a lot of patients that today are totally vulnerable. They have nothing that stands between them and terrible and catastrophic diseases like acute kidney injury. We know that our technology will help millions of people in the world.